a convoy of white trucks passed through Russia's Voronezh region Tuesday. It will take several days for the 280 heavy vehicles to reach Ukraine's eastern regions, where rebel fighters seek union with Russia. Ukrainian officials are highly suspicious of Russia's intent, but they say they will allow its distribution through the Red Cross. Any military convoys that are being used as escorts or include military that do not have the mandate of the Red Cross and are not part of the humanitarian help will be considered as an aggressive force, and our reaction to this will be adequate. The Red Cross has asked for the inventory of goods arriving in the trucks. A spokesman in Ukraine said it is not yet clear when and where the Russian aid will arrive. We don't know the final route of the aid. I tried to get information where exactly this convoy is right now before coming here, but I don't know the exact location still. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk on Wednesday called the Russian gesture cynical and unnecessary. We are forming a motorcade which we have already provided with 270 tons and we are doing everything in order to bring vitally needed goods to certain territories. Besides, we appeal to the Red Cross with a request to help deliver these goods to people because these territories are controlled by terrorists whom Russia supports. It would be better for Russia to send 300 empty Kamaz trucks to take their bandits back. Then there would be no need to send humanitarian aid. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said earlier this week that Moscow has agreed to all Ukrainian conditions regarding the relief convoy. But the West is warning Kyiv to beware of the convoy that many compare to the Trojan horse. Former U.S. Ambassador to NATO Kurt Volker told VOA that Russia is looking for ways to gain control in eastern Ukraine without a frontal invasion. You're seeing a much more subtle, subversive style of activity trying to absorb territory by accretion. Crimea went very quickly. Uh, Eastern Ukraine has been more difficult. But nonetheless, for example, with this humanitarian convoy, it is a way for Russia to show that it has access to this territory. It can provide relief to the population. It can probably smuggle other people and equipment in at the same time. And the Ukrainian military is either going to have to confront this or allow it to happen. Either one will play into Russia's planning to respond to that. Ukraine's government has made some gains in its campaign to recover the rebel-held territories, but NATO warns that Russia has massed 20,000 troops along its border with Ukraine. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.